Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sloppy here with a League of Legends gameplay. In this game you'll find my friend Intense Kill who will be playing Malphite and I'll be playing Evelyn. So pretty much just standard stuff, I'll be going mid. I think my friend's going top. I like to show you guys the summoner spells and everything people have selected. Basically this is just a continuation of our late night league series. After work around 10, 30, 11 ish, we usually go on and play a quick game and I like to record it for you guys. I always start off by doing this. If you always stand right there, you can usually see the summoner. But if you wait and watch, I kind of screw up because I get distracted. Yeah, so basically we're going to try and make one of these a night, keep a episode going. It'll probably take me longer than a day to upload. I'm not too good at getting this voice recording down the first try. Plus YouTube likes to mess up and not upload my videos. Yeah, I was so confused at this point because I thought Brown was going to be mid and I didn't notice they had an Elise. So it's me versus Elise and Brand is top. Interesting stuff. Uh, this high elo. Just kidding, we're not even in a ranked match. So basically my approach to early game mid with Eve is just try and get as many of those last shot minions as you can. Because once you start building ability power on Eve, she's pretty unstoppable. Her burst is hard to survive no matter what character you're playing. Try and get as many of those last shots as I can, but I miss one every now and then. But I'm gonna say ahead of time this Elise or however you wanna pronounce it, she's probably not the best player. So But that spider, Jesus, you can never avoid unless you want to waste your flash. Most annoying ability yet. Actually, there's way more annoying abilities, but still. But you can totally see, it's just from the starting of the game, she's not really getting many last shots. She's trying to harass me, but not really doing a good job of it. So I'm just getting more gold than her. I'm just getting this advantage, and... I end up using that later on to my advantage, which is usually the way I handle playing mid. So yeah, being in the game is usually quite boring. I don't know if I'm going to fast forward this or not, but um, another cool thing is if you want to see this exact game in Malphite's perspective, you can go ahead and go to the link in my description for Intense Kills channel, which is Om Nom Noms. Yeah, pretty interesting name he's got for his channel. Trust me, stick into this game, maybe even fast forward is definitely worth the wait. It gets pretty intense later on. Plus I make a couple stupid mistakes. Especially once you got your speed and your Q and E. It's really easy to harass if they're not good players. Just go over there, Q E, then go back to last shotting minions. Yeah, at this point I'm starting to get a little frustrated too, because as you can see it's 0-2 and I don't understand why my team keeps dying. And uh, looking back on it, it was actually Timo. He didn't even know how to play or something, because he just kept dying throughout the whole game. But you always get one of those. Timo. 
fucking squirrel. So basically as build goes, obviously boots and pots first thing, Q, oh here I go, did I get this kill? I can't remember. Yeah I'm pretty sure I do, I think I tower dive it. Oh yeah, this is actually really funny, watch this, we are both got about the same health but she's got a healing potion, she does the dumbest thing you could possibly think of doing. Yeah, bam, Q, E, Q, gone. Yeah, definitely if you got one health and you're, well not one health, like one bar and your opponent is in the bushes, don't, don't go into the bushes. That's all the advantage your opponent needs. Why would you ever go into bushes with no health? It's probably the dumbest thing you could do. But hey, I like being fe fed. So you can see a tense kill complaining to uh, his partner in lane, Timo, stop feeding, go back. And basically this is where things start to change for me. I start getting the ability power items, start gaining such an advantage over at least next thing she knows she can't even do anything in lane. Yeah, here I'm just comparing my uh, my minions compared to hers. I'm at 41, and she's at 26. So she's probably got half as much gold as me, and now I've got a gold item on top of things. So I basically can take her one on one anytime, and it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's so annoying trying to get those last shots under the turret, but usually I can snag a couple with my Q. You can see I'm always trying to catch her off position so I can hit her with my R, which slows her, and then pick her off. But she's playing a little bit more defensively now that she's noticed. Oh shit, he's kind of really powerful. And it's definitely not usually a good idea to go turret diving when your opponent's at full health. So I just decided to stay back, wait for minions to come down my way, and since Top was having a little bit of troubles, I used this lol in the lane battle to come over here and see if I can pick anything off. If I remember correctly, I think this works out pretty well. At the time, I didn't know how much of a noob Teemo was, so I wasn't expecting to go in there by myself, but it didn't really matter. And then here I get too cocky and make a really stupid mistake, as you can see right there. I really didn't need to follow that in there, but I got greedy. I didn't want Timo to get the kill. And I even admitted on chat, and I'm like, oh, that was way too cocky. Now we got Talon feeding Garen, and Talon wasn't that good either. But me and Malphite managed to carry the team. I can't remember, but at this point I think Malphite's like 4-0, so... <laughs> Tense kill is doing a pretty good job. Yeah, most of our commentaries will usually be together on our late night League of Legends, but uh, we decided to try this one solo. As you can see, you know, it's harder to keep the uh, conversation going. But yeah, basically at this point, as you can see, I'm chasing Elise around. She can barely even take down my health. I'm starting to get nice and, I wouldn't say fed, but I just got so much gold compared to her. There's really nothing she can do. At this point, once you once you can't really gain too much from your lane, the best thing to do is probably f farm whenever there's farm in the lane and then go gank and help out the rest of your team, which I usually do, but I guess this time I decided I'll try and take a notch off the turret's health. Another thing is like a no presence from the enemy's jungler because I believe they had a jungler. 
Or was that this? Yeah, no, I don't think it was this game. Never mind. Sorry, guys. That was the last game I uploaded where they had a jungler Vanguard. Silly me. Anyways, for you guys not familiar with League of Legends, basically my Q, which is called Hate Spike, is just a really quick line of damage, and it's very spammable, so it's my main source of damage, so you see me approach Q, and I'll usually spam Q, obviously, if I'm trying to take her out, and then my E is another main source of damage, except not as spammable, it's just two massive hits, and basically deal a ton of damage, so that's what I usually use to pick off an enemy once they start to run away. I use my Q to harass them, and what my W does, it basically increases my speed to a ridiculous amount for a short period of time, so that helps me chase them down and run away. And then my R is a slow and it does damage based on the percentage of their health, so I think at this point, since it's only what, at level my 9, it's only level 1, so I think it probably does like 8% of their health, it gets instantly taken away, so yeah, I use it right there takes 8% of her health away and then I can just pick her off and I got Ash helping me out. I don't even know where Talon came from to this point. But um, yeah, the R, your ultimate, is probably one of the better ways to engage if you think you're at a slight disadvantage. So what it does is not only does it take a percent away from their health, but it also gives you an armor bonus. I know most of you guys won't know all this crap, but just in case it's a new player. And what my passive does, which you gotta have noticed by now, if I'm out of combat for about a couple seconds, I end up turning invisible. So, which is probably one of my favorite parts about Eve. This really, that's her main thing. You can run around, you're fast, and you're invisible, so people don't even know what the fuck happened when all of a sudden you just burst them with a ton of damage. And I have Talon here stealing my farm. When clearly my lane does not need help, I have having no troubles at all. I think he set me out with a kill here, so he was good bait, but apart from that, he's kind of useless. So yeah, pick up that kill. As you can see at this point, look, I can go in, pick off an enemy unit, run away, and barely any damage taken to me. So. The hardest part about Eve is probably knowing when to engage, when to run away, because you can't take too much damage, but you can usually get in there and run away and have no problems. Like right here, Garen's an idiot. He should have known I was there because I had just turned invisible. So, this is actually pretty good. Close battle here. Because he used his ignite, but nope. And I was going to pick him back off, but hello, Ash. How, how nice of you to take that. You're, you're, good, you're a good teammate. I love you. Now fuck off. Most characters you should worry about still being on the map with two little bars of health, but thanks to Eve's passive, you can usually still farm a little bit and then turn invisible and you're good. As far as my build goes, you probably noticed boots, pots, cages, lucky pick, which is an ability power and gold item, so helps you get that early gold advantage, plus obviously having a double advantage in your minions helps as well. And then obviously it builds into Deathfire's Grasp, which is probably one of my favorite items with a character like this. Basically, my burst damage is ridiculous because I open up with my R, which takes, once you're level 3, like 30% of the health away. Then I hit them with my Deathfire, which I can't remember what percent it is, but it takes another percent of their health away. And then my abil abilities just pick them off. So, Boots and Pots, Cages Lucky Pick, Sorcerers shoes, boots, whatever, whatever they are, um, and then I start working on Lich Bane. Lots of people like to forego Lich Bane and, uh, is it Lich Bane? Yeah. And, uh, go for a Death Cap, but I like the passive a lot. When you use ability, you get that damage and ability power on your next hit, so, I don't know, I like that, seeing as she's a bruiser, like, up close and fighting, so. This is pretty great. They all decide to chase everyone and Bran pops up on me. <laughs> oh, hey Bran, let me just uh, pick you off and go chase after Elise again. You were a good distraction for about five seconds. And then my team <laughs> starts chasing Elise and like, oh, where did she go? Well, she's over here for sure. So, bam, another kill right there. I don't think I get this one, though. Talon kind of takes it away, but it's all good. 
And then there's, <laughs> uh, uh, what's her name? Jesus Christ, I don't know, I'm having a brain fart right now. But she's all farming when she knows her whole team is right there, so there's another easy kill. So basically at this point, 19-7, I'm 6-1, and one, so yeah, I'm fed, I'd say. And things are just going way too well. At this point, it's pretty hard to lose, but I have actually seen comebacks just out of the blue and actually lost games like this. And it can be done, seeing as we have a negative Teemo and I'm pretty sure negative Talon, but... I don't know, I usually don't let that happen. As you can see, they just go in without really paying attention, so... It sets us up really well. And here, actually, I'm really overextending, just in there fighting three people at a time, but I managed to survive, and I think I picked up a kill. And then, as you can see, even though I have a little bit of health, I use my R to gain shield to s protect me. Go in for that kill as well. I don't know if I picked that one off. Yeah, there you go. Pick up the double and the ace, I guess. So another thing about Eve is if you gauge in that battle and you're almost dead and you run away, kind of hang back there with your invisibility. Don't leave until the rest of your team leaves because you can usually manage to pick up a kill if your team has to back out and one of them are low health. Just like I sat in the bushes, noticed, hey, I can pick off those two and jumped back in there. Watching Timo fail at last shotting minions there. And I'm sorry if every once in a while there's a uh, little jump in the leg. I don't understand why, but Frap seems to cut my uh, recordings into small pieces. And every time it cuts a new piece, it generates a bit of lag for me. I don't know if you guys know why that is or how to fix it, but if you do, please leave a comment. It's really annoying. And then they start chasing Ash, but look at this. Garen tries to run away, pick him up, ultimate, pick Elise up. Oh, I think I did. There you go. And then I got like no health. <laughs> and it's still quite an even match. And I turn it around, pick up the triple. So that, that, that's where I'm getting at with uh, Eve. Even though it looks like you're losing the battle, you can usually jump back in there if you're. Uh, good player and you got quick reflexes and pick up the kill if your if your time is right which is why I love I love her 12 1 and 6 like okay I am playing noobs but still <laughs> so the reason why we are not in a ranked match is because intense kill is only level 27 and we're trying to get him up to level 30 so we can actually play with people of a decent level at least but yeah, until then, this will have to do. And I think right here I get a, a pretty interesting little pick off a kill here. Actually, no, not yet, but it's coming up. I do get Garen here. He tries to run away, and I Q him, or actually E him really quickly. Yeah, here it is. She's standing around with low health, so I decide, hey, what the hell, let's do this. Ultimate, bam, pick that off. And that was actually a good stun, but she had no damage to fall up, so. So at this point, it's, we have it in the, in the bag, like. 14, 1, and 6. I think Malphite is like 7 and 0 or 7 and 1. All we have to do is just maintain our lead and finish off the game. But it just shows how useful a good Eve can be. Pick off anyone with low health, always s engaging and then coming back at the end to clean up everything. It's Personally, she's one of my favorite mid characters, although Karthus is up there. I quite enjoy playing Karthus. But 
whether you believe it or not, I'm actually not usually playing mid, I'm usually jungler. Yeah, right there, I don't know what happened, but I was going to go around through the turret, and the screen completely froze. And I freaked out, as you can see, ugh, I lagged and couldn't move, blah blah blah. But, um, uh, it, fr it froze, and then when I finally re-jumped to the game, I was surrounded by three people. Yeah. I don't know. I was in a bad position anyway, so I'm going to blame it on myself there, but the lag didn't really help. Yeah. See what happened, it did. But they surrender. Don't blame them, really. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this commentary, please like and subscribe and check out uh, Intense Kills channel.